Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy Robert, the Fit Chick Cancer Thriver and the owner of Mosaic Fitness and Nutrition, and I'm here to help you change the mirror from the inside out. So today's workout is one of my favorite boot camp workouts. It's called My Buddy. It is gonna be a strength workout with high volume reps. So you're gonna do 30 reps of all the exercises. There's gonna be 10. It's a total body workout, and you are going to not drop your buddy the whole time. So if you're a lady, you're gonna grab 15 pounds to 25 pounds, somewhere around that. If you don't have dumbbells that have you at your house, you can grab things like a backpack, fill it with some books. You can grab some dog food, sometimes that might be heavy enough. Um, guys, if you're working out, since this is a public video, then you wanna grab 20 pounds to maybe 50 pounds, depending on your strength level. We're gonna be consistent with these exercises. We're not stopping. So that's what's gonna make it challenging to keep holding on to this guy, all right? You guys ready? So that's gonna be our phase one. Phase two, we're gonna go grab some water in between and we're gonna do a 45 second plank series. And so we're gonna have a couple different exercises and every 45 seconds we're gonna be switching. Phase three is gonna be some cardio, whatever that looks like for you. It's only gonna be five minutes, so you wanna make it intense. If you have a rower, you can jump on the rower. You're gonna do 30 seconds hard, 30 seconds, just kind of a base pace or just a pace where you can you could talk to your neighbor if you needed to. You could get outside, you could go sprint and then jog, 30 seconds, 30 seconds for five minutes. Um, or if you're at your house, you could even do 30 seconds of jump squats 30 seconds of regular squats for five minutes. You guys ready? All right, let's get started. All right, ladies, we're gonna start with a warm up doing the core 360. You're gonna do six exercises and you are going to switch every 30 seconds. You've done these before. We're gonna start with a plank, hold it for 30 seconds. We'll switch to the next one, which will be a side plank. Remember with all of these exercises, you can always take the option to go on your knees and to make it a little less intense on the shoulder. If you want a challenge, you can always move the body. You can move the feet up and down, you can move your hips up and down. So after this side plank, then you're gonna drop to your side, you're gonna do clamshells. I have a band around my leg there. If you wanted to use some resistance, you could do that. You don't have to. That would be for some added resistance. As you can see, I'm gonna drop down and now I have a little resistance with the band above my knee. All right, we're gonna switch on our back and we're gonna be doing glute bridges. Again, if you have a resistance band, you can press out against it, lifting the hips up and giving it kind of an external squeeze there for a little bit more of the glute booty effect. So after you're done with this one, I'm gonna slide the band off really quick and I'm gonna go right into dead bugs. Remember dead bugs, you wanna press your waistband to the floor, pull the belly button in and you're going opposite arm and leg, going up towards the ceiling and then down towards the floor. All right, we have two more exercises. This is gonna be earthquake abs. If you have a little ball or you even have a rolled up towel, you can put it behind your tailbone, like a little bunny tail or some support. 
You're gonna kind of find that quiver spot and your abs should be shaking. If you notice, I'm not moving my torso, I'm just moving my arms. The slower you, mo you move your arms, the more intense this exercise is. We're gonna end with a front plank to make it a 360 degrees workout. We're going to start with a military press. Remember, 30 reps. You're going to keep your legs a little wider than shoulder width apart. Belly button is nice and tight. You want to pull the shoulders down and back. Think of yourself if you have like long, dangly earrings on or just creating space between the ear and the shoulder, and you want to lift your chest up. That dumbbell is going to be in front of you here. Military press, you're going to press it up and then bring it down back just below your chin. We got 30 reps here. All right, if you have any orthopedic issues in your back or anything like that, then you wanna take a split squat position. That will help you to even those hips out. You guys feeling that? It's already hard for me. Woo! More than halfway there. Twenty two. Keep pushing it up there. Twenty six. Twenty seven. There you go. You should feel like they're burning a little bit. All right, it's not a lot. All right, guys, we're gonna do bicep curls next. So again, shoulders back and down. That's your set position. Get your abs pulled in, chest is lifted, and then we're gonna come up. Straight arms all the way up. Our, our hands are gonna stop at our shoulders. Squeeze the bicep. Side view is gonna look like that. Now, I always say trainers can't count. So, you might get an extra one or two because normally I'm talking and cueing and paying attention to somebody's body or my own and so I don't always count correctly. How many of you guys have had trainers that do that? I always say they get more for their money. All right, so again, if you have those orthopedic issues in your back and it's starting to get fatigued, you can take that split stance again. Just kind of separate your legs a little bit, puts less pressure on that sacrum. I know for me that's really helpful after I went through cancer and surgery. I think we're at like 21. Are you counting over there? I hope you are. Otherwise, you're gonna get extra, because I never usually shortchange you, but I will give you some extra. This is good. There we go, let's do three more. I always say three more. My clients, if you're watching this, are like, oh yeah, we know. There you go, all right. We're gonna bring it down, you guys good? If you need some water, you can grab some water. All right, we're gonna do some front raises. I definitely need to put my foot in that split stand squat for this. All right, I'm gonna lean forward just a bit. That dumbbell is resting on my thigh and I'm bringing it up and then back down. So we have 30 of these. Keeping those shoulders down is really important. You wanna feel that those shoulder blades are sitting on top of your rib cage. That's really gonna support you and not get into your neck. It's really easy with some shoulder exercises and even some back exercises, people tend to get into their neck a lot. What are we on, nine, maybe 10? It's nice when I have a timer. 
because then you just stop at the timer. But then some people are like, I want to count. I need to count. Well, here you go. Remember, 30 reps. If you're following me, you probably get an extra. See if you can smile through your workout, too. All those endorphins coming out. Feels so good. All right, 10 more. Woo, those shoulders are burning. Nice. Let's do five more. One more. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Shake those arms out. All right, we have some squats now. You're going to take your weight. And you're going to put it right in front. This is going to be like a front squat, okay? So feet are going to be wider than hip distance apart. Again, shoulders back and down. We're going to sit back like we're sitting in a chair and then press back up. Those elbows can touch the tops of your knees. Down and then press up. Feel yourself using the hamstrings and the glutes to press yourself back up to that standing position. All right, so if you're watching me, from the side, you're sitting down into it and back up. Some of you might be able to go lower. I've had surgery, I'm not able to do that. But you go to your own range of motion. Some of you, that range of motion just might be right here. All right? It's just gonna work the muscles differently. And my channel is really for people who are over 35 or 40, trying to stay in shape. Stay healthy. Let's do 10 more. Are you still smiling? If you're not, you better be. I can dance for you. You know, I put this down. Most of my clients know I will dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. There you go, good. Bring them up. Good. Are you guys good? Still holding on to my buddy. You're not letting it go. That's the thing with this one. Upright row. So, you guys are going to take your hands. You're going to put them right in the center of that dumbbell or whatever it is you're holding. If it's a backpack, you can hold it here. All right. Have the hands just below the hips there. Roll those shoulders back and down. And then you're bringing this up. Okay, so it may feel better if you go on the outside, then closer. Find out where um, or what position suits your body best, okay? So as you're going up, you want to kind of squeeze that lateral part of your shoulder here. Coming up and coming back down. You have three parts of your deltoid. Front, you have the lateral, and you have the rear. This exercise is mainly working your lateral and your rear deltoid. Make sure you're breathing. Keep those knees soft. Always pull your belly button in. It's like a seatbelt for your spine. Keeping those shoulders down and back. I can feel this. Again, you can always take that split stance if you need to. Those of you that have orthopedic issues in your shoulders, like rotator cuff, this may not be so nice. You can always go back and do those front raises again, or one of the other exercises we just did. There we go. Keep going. We're probably going to get some extras here because I've been talking a lot. Let's do three more. Two. And one more, good, nice job guys. All right, the next exercise here is going to be the boxer bounce. So we're gonna get our ankles kind of moving a little bit and get our heart rate up. So that dumbbell or whatever you're holding is gonna go right in front of your body here. And just like a boxer, we're gonna shift our weight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, there you go, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. 10 more. Five more. Good. All right, that heart rate should be up. You guys feeling it? Don't let that, don't, just don't drop it. Don't bring it down. Bent over row. All right. Shoulders down and back. You're going to hinge forward at the hip. My knees are going to be soft, okay? And again, orthopedic issues, you may have to go up a little higher in the torso. Ideally, you want to be parallel to the ground. Be right here, you're going to pull the dumbbell up towards your tummy. Kind of scraping the elbows along the rib cage. We are halfway there. See, you give me talking on this count. I got it. Ten more. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, nice job. Come on up. All right. This one is going to be a reverse lunge. That's what we have next. We are almost done, guys. We have two more exercises to go. You're going to hold that dumbbell right where it was, right in front of you. We're going to step back with our leg and drop it down 90 degrees, come back up. All right, so we are going to do 15 per side. So that's four, five, six, if you have orthopedic issues with this one, you can always go in a stationary lunge. So that would look like this. All right, you could just sit right there, go to your range of motion. That way you're not having to switch back and forth. You don't have to control the core as much. Switch legs. Stepping back. Think of yourself, when you step back, people are always like, well, where does my leg go in the lunge? Think of yourself on a set of railroad tracks and that your feet are on either side of the railroad track. That way you'll have enough, enough distance. Sometimes if you're too close, you're gonna be really wobbly, okay? So 15 reps. Then we are gonna end with a tricep extension. Your heart rate should be up. Your arms are gonna be up above your head, your hands. Palms are gonna be facing the ceiling. So here's how I have the dumbbell in my hands, just like that. Up overhead, take that split stance, biceps are by my ears, and I'm going to go this way so you can see. I'm going to drop it back behind me, hitting my ponytail, and back up. You want to keep those elbows forward. Really important to do that. I'm going to come back forward. So you can see, elbows are forward, they're not flailing out. Now, range of motion is an important thing. If you don't have great range of motion, or you have rotator cuff, you may be out here. Yeah, maybe. Ideally, you'd have to probably have a later dumbbell. And that's not the goal of this one. So keep your elbows forward, pressing it up overhead, squeezing the tricep. Just like that. I have no idea what number we're on. I always think it's funny. I was never really a group fitness instructor. I mean, a little bit, but not really. More personal for you. All right. Woo! We can put my buddy down. All right, guys. I want you to go grab some water. We're going to take a rest. About one minute. We're going to come back, and we're going to do that plank series. All right, guys, we're gonna do 45 second rounds. We're gonna start in a plank. If you haven't done a plank, you're basically straight up like a board. You're gonna curl your toes under. You can always help yourself up with your knees. 
Your arms are going to be at a 90 degree angle. We are not praying. That's for Sunday. You're keeping your arms out like the number 11, all right? Then you're going to take an inhale, and then you're going to lift everything up. You're going to hold this position, all right? We are going to be doing different things. So we're going to be here. We're going to raise the legs up and down. We're going to take them out to the side and bring them back in. That's what we'll be doing, and we're going to switch every 45 seconds, okay? If you need a break, you can go down into this position. This would be your modified plank. Or if you have some core issues and you need to stay here because of weakness in your abdominals, you can stay here like that. You can come up, do a couple of them, come back down. Okay? So just pay attention to your own body. See what you're able to do. Okay? You guys ready to get started? All right. I'm going to put the timer on. Once we hear that beep, we're going to go up. All right, we're getting ready, abs are tight, taking a breath, and lift. Great job, guys. Now we're going to take it out. We're going to go out, out, in, in. Then in, and in, in. Keeping the hips down. It's really easy for us to want to bring our hips up. You want to make sure that you stay low. That's going to work all those core muscles as we're moving the legs. Here's what you got. Okay, here's what we got for phase three. You got five minutes of intense cardio. If you have a rower, you can get on the rower. 30 seconds, just fast as you can, all out pace, and then 30 seconds, steady state. All right, where your heart rate is able to come down and then you're right back up to that all out pace. If you can run, you can go outside, you can sprint for 30 seconds, then jog for 30 seconds, or even walk, okay? That's the way to do it. Or if you're in your house, you can do 30 seconds of either a jump squat or a pulse, and then do 30 seconds of regular squats. So jump squat, most of, most of you guys know. You're here, you're coming down, your feet leave the ground. A pulse, you're gonna stay low, okay? Just like that. All right, so that's gonna be the end. I'm gonna post the workout at the end of this so that you have it, you can do it again. You guys did a fantastic job. Thanks for getting me to sweat. Have an awesome day.